2020 has been a year filled with extremes in almost every aspect of life, but for many gardeners in the Midlands, it was productive. Meteorologist Alex Calamia takes a look back at the lessons he learned through the year in our garden here at WLTX. I've had more free time to garden this year than ever before because COVID-19 precautions have basically wiped my schedule of everything else. And getting my hands dirty has really helped keep my head clear during this difficult time. I've also learned a lot because of the extra time that I've spent in the garden about what these plants need. And they say that you do learn from your mistakes. So it's a good thing that I've made plenty of them this year, but I've also had a lot of success too. I learned that patience pays off. It takes a couple of months, but these plants really showed a big effort, growing tremendously from spring to fall. And by the end of the growing season, I even picked my first citrus fruit. I learned that gardening in South Carolina during the winter time is a delight. Well, this is pretty much my favorite site in January. Lots of greenery. Lettuce, cabbage, broccoli, and collards are winter staples in the South, but parsley and cilantro aren't as common to find. Yet, they're just as cold tolerant. Check this out. It's the last Tuesday in January, a gorgeous day, and I'm picking this beautiful parsley we have. I learned that some plants are worth growing from seed. I planted broccoli seeds the first week of 2020 and they sprouted beautifully through the middle of winter and I had a delicious crop ready for the spring. Tomato seeds sprouted almost too easily and my watermelon seeds produced delicious fruit. And this is a big watermelon. It's my first homegrown watermelon ever. I started it from seed three months ago, this seed packet actually. Seeds are an easy way to try unusual plants that you can't find locally, like this curvy squash or yellow fleshed watermelon. Also, seeds are a big money saver, but not all plants are worth starting this way. I had no luck with eggplant seeds because they take too long to fruit. But there is one mistake that I've made for years that I'll never make again. There are thousands of different types of tomatoes, but there are only two types of growth habits. Determinant tomatoes grow to a certain height and they fruit all at once. They're well behaved and perfect for pots, but they're not gonna give you fruit all season long. Indeterminate tomatoes, they grow wild and free and they fruit nonstop, but they're not as good for pots. So knowing the difference is something I never paid attention to before, but I'm going to for now on. Most importantly in 2020 though, I learned that gardening can bring people together even from six feet apart or more. Our Facebook group, WLTX Gandy's Gardeners, is open to anybody who's growing plants or interested in growing them or learning more about plants. And we've seen your photos and videos and learned that the COVID-19 pandemic and all of its restrictions that it came with encouraged gardeners to grow food for the first time. And that's a really wonderful thing that I hope carries over into 2021. I'm meteorologist Alex Calamia. Happy New Year. And Alex is back with us now. So Alex, what was sort of your biggest takeaway from gardening over the year and what do you hope to do uh, differently next year? I think the biggest takeaway for me is the fact that a garden doesn't have to be a big plot of land. It could be just a pot that you have in your patio, in your house. There's an opportunity for anybody to garden, Kaylin. Right, awesome. So is the weather good for gardening at this time? Yeah, you know, you can garden all year long. There's not a moment where I don't have something in the garden. Check out what Brian is sharing photos of. This gorgeous camellia. Love it. And that's after all the cold we had last week. We